Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to protect your rights when the police ask for your ID. As Americans, we have the constitutional right to refuse to show our ID unless we've committed a crime. But not all police officers are aware of this fact, and some may try to outsmart us out of our rights. Let me tell you a story about Matthew Denlinger, badge number 830 of the Cedar Rapids, Iowa Police Department. He demanded ID from a person for merely videotaping public property. The incident was recorded and shared online, where people learned about how some police officers try to obtain personal information from citizens unlawfully. Mr. Denlinger demanded the person's ID multiple times, even though the individual had not committed a crime. When asked to identify himself, Mr. Denlinger initially refused, then reluctantly gave his name and badge number after being asked several times. This situation highlights the importance of knowing your rights when interacting with the police. Gonna have a little look, look see here, ladies and gentlemen. What does it say? Event search, 951 27th Avenue, Apache Center. Use warrant you would if available. Nathaniel Kessler. That, that's pub that's public. That, that's that's not public information, ladies and gentlemen. Serving warrants in the courthouse. Car. Do you know what the First Amendment is, sir? You do not have permission to be videotaping. What's your name and badge number? 819. What's your name and badge number? I'm out with the gentleman on the side of the squad car out here. The squad car 41 is parked out here with the NBC open. What's your name and badge number? Are you refusing to identify? Can you start with a mark to speak to this guy? Okay. He's got the one. I need to see your ID, please. Uh, have I committed a crime? I need to see your ID, please. Have I committed a crime? I have the right to stop you and check your ID when you're doing something suspicious. Suspicious. Right now, you were just videotaping inside of the yeah. squad car. Yeah. Okay. The MDC's open. You're not allowed to see that information. And who, who's, whose responsibility is it to keep that laptop closed? Okay. I need to see your ID, please. Have I committed a crime? I need to see your ID, please. I actually went down to the Cedar Rapids Police Department and talked with them I need about to see your these ID, being please. open. Sir, I have not committed a crime. I need to see your ID, please. What's your name and badge number? I need to see your ID, please. You know what the Fourth Amendment is? I need to see your ID, please. Have I committed a crime? Are you refusing to identify yourself? I'm asking you what crime have I committed? Articulate, see, reasonable I need, suspicion. I need to see your ID. I just did. Okay. That I is. just did. For filming a public vehicle on public property. Okay. I just that, that's, what, what crime is that? I need that? to see your ID, please. Sir, I don't need to identify unless I've committed a crime, but your policy, which I went to the Cedar Rapids Police Department about, it is your policy, assuming you work for a Cedar Rapids PD, to identify. It is literally your I, policy. I do work for the Cedar Rapids Police Department. Okay, and I actually went down there and talked to them okay. about a car parked right here, mm -hmm. and I filed a complaint. What's the complaint about the car being parked here? Okay, you're gonna, I filed a complaint mm -hmm. after doing the same exact thing down at the Cedar Rapids Police Department, and the complaint I filed is that the officers are not uh, giving the name and the badge number to members of the public. What's your complaint about the car being Sir, I I'm talking about your policy of the Cedar Rapids Police Why Department. Why Investigator Matt Dillinger? Investigator Matt Dillinger, what is your badge number? 830. Thank you. Was that, how was that that hard? Okay, now can Just I your see name. your ID, please? Okay, so you are held to the standards of the Cedar Rapids Police Department. Can I see your As ID, a citizen please? of America, okay. I have constitutional rights. Unless you have think that I have committed a crime, Okay. It is what? not a crime to film a public vehicle on a public street, sir. This is not a restricted area. I understand. I can film anything Listen. I can see from public. Listen to me. I understand. I'll go down and follow a complaint right now. I did that last time. I'll do it again. Okay. I'm not playing. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to get me to ID. He thinks it's illegal to film a cop car parked on a public street. Sir, we know what the law is. You're standing out in the middle of the street. It's not illegal. You're standing out in the middle of the street. 
you're not allowed to see the information on that. And who's, whose responsibility is it to keep it's the laptop in, shut? Whose responsibility? Car. Whose job is it to keep the laptop shut? Why are you trying to get that information? Sir? It's not public information. By the end of them, is just crack. They, they, yeah, it is. It's crack. Yeah. It's not public information. He thinks I committed a crime. Uh, I, I, okay. I, I'm about to go walk down there and file a complaint right now. If you think I'm playing. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going right now. Okay. Police department, file a complaint against this guy. You gotta go to the jail first. Well, I, I think you need some education that it's not illegal to do this. His boss never trained him right. Well, he's over here saying you got an ID and all this stuff, and it's like... Zero tolerance for misconduct of any kind within its facilities. But they don't want to be held accountable for all the fucking misconduct. Oh, is he really? Is he okay? Some cops out there giving him a hard time? Gosh. I told him I was going to the jail and not the courthouse. Thanks for letting me know, everyone. Is he in front of the courthouse? All right. Hey D, I heard there I heard there's a cop out here harassing you. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to get me to ID. He thinks it's illegal to film a cop car. ID into them is just crack. They they they, yeah, just, they just want it. Yeah, it's not public. He thinks I committed a crime. Then close it. Okay. It's that simple. I'm about to go walk down there, follow the plate right now. If you think I'm playing, go ahead. Okay, I'm going right now. Okay. Where are you going? The police department. Follow the plate against this. We got to go to the jail first. Well, I, I think he needs some education that it's not legal to do this. His boss never trained him. Right. If he'd just look up the lie, no. Well, he's over here saying he got an ID and all this stuff, and it's like. The first step to protecting yourself from unlawful police action is knowing your rights. In the United States, you have the right to refuse to show your ID unless you have committed a crime. When a police officer requests your ID, they must have a reasonable suspicion that you have committed a crime. If they cannot provide a valid reason, you have the right to politely refuse to show your ID. When interacting with a police officer, it's important to remain calm and firm, even if you believe they are violating your rights. Getting angry or confrontational can escalate the situation, which can put you in danger. Instead, try to stay calm and ask the officer why they need your ID. If they cannot provide a valid reason, politely refuse to show it. If you feel that a police officer is violating your rights, it's important to document the encounter. This can include recording the interaction on your phone or taking notes about what was said and done. If possible, try to get the officer's name and badge number. This information can be helpful if you decide to file a complaint. If you believe that a police officer has violated your rights, you have the right to file a complaint with the relevant authorities. This can include the police department or a civilian oversight board. When filing a complaint, 
It's important to provide as much detail as possible about the incident, including the officer's name and badge number. This information can help the authorities investigate the incident and take appropriate action. If you believe that you have been the victim of unlawful police action, there are steps you can take to protect yourself. These include remain calm and firm, refuse to show your ID if you have not committed a crime or if there is no reasonable suspicion that you have, document the encounter, file a complaint with the relevant authorities. By taking these steps, you can protect yourself from unlawful police action and safeguard your constitutional rights. In conclusion, knowing your rights when interacting with the police is crucial. Refusing to show your ID is your right unless you have committed a crime or there is reasonable suspicion that you have. Being aware of these rights can help you protect yourself from any unlawful police action. If you feel that your rights have been violated, you have the right to file a complaint, which can lead to appropriate action being taken against the offending officer. Remember, it's important to stay calm and firm during the interaction so you can prevent any escalation and safeguard your rights. What do you think about the actions of the officer? Let me know in the comments and be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos. Go over to his channel and appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description.